welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson and today I'm going to be doing a request. I got a request to make some soft pretzels like you would get at a local sports bar. So I actually went on Google and tried to find a copycat recipe for the restaurant style soft pretzels but I couldn't find one. So this is the closest one that I could find. I got this from sprinklesomesugar.com and the link will be down in the bottom below for the recipe. <laughs> But if you want to see how these pretzels turn out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. For the dough, I got going on making my yeast by adding it to some warm water with some sugar and let that sit until it foamed. Added salt, melted butter, and flour one cup at a time until it basically came together. The instructions were to add it until it was incorporated and then wait for it to spring back and knead for five minutes, which I was doing here. And then I took it out of the bowl and formed it into a little ball and then let it sit covered for about 15 minutes and during that time I made my baking soda mixture with four tablespoons of baking soda to my water and brought that to a boil and then I poured it into an 8x8 pan just to let it kind of come to room temperature a little bit then I got my dough flattened it out and cut it like I was cutting a very thick pizza into eight slices and then I rolled it out into a rope and this is where I learned I'm really really bad at forming pretzel shapes <laughs> so I just I tried to do what I've seen them do it like Wetzel's pretzels but I learned that folding it into a braid is much easier so if you're bad at it like me do that but then I put it in the water for two minutes and then took it out and then I put salt on it while it was still wet and then baked it and my parchment paper started to burn so I took it out of the paper and then put it back on the pan and let it finish cooking in the oven and then I brushed it with butter. So here's the pretzels. They are cool enough to eat so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. Oh, they smell so good. Oh my gosh, these are so good. They are soft and chewy and so flavorful. Not even just like the butter. It's not like I'm wanting it to be better than it is because I have the fat from the butter coating my taste buds. You can taste the pretzel. The coarse salt is just the right amount in my opinion. These are so good. I don't even feel like I need to go make like a cheese dip or anything to eat them with. They are great on their own. These are phenomenal and they actually weren't that bad. I made this recipe one because it had really good reviews and I see why now. And two, it didn't make so many that I'm, I have like 40 pretzels. This would be perfect for a football game. So Kelly, thank you for requesting this on Facebook. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys aren't following me already, all of my social media links are down in the description below with the recipe. So give me a follow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this here. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.